military hardware that they now have in their possession. However, after the celebrations are over comes the task of governing a nation that relies heavily on international aid and which is in the grip of a worsening economic crisis. Well, a senior UN official is warning that without additional funding, food stocks in Afghanistan could run out by the end of this month. France 24's Claire Rush takes a look. One of the most pressing daily issues for Afghans, shortages of food and basic goods. The UN says it's committed to continuing operations, but its Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, or OCHA, faces a funding shortfall of hundreds of millions of dollars. Operations to supply medical and humanitarian uh, goods, as well as to support uh, and other materials, are continuing, but more resources are needed. The current funding appeal for OCHA is, um, is uh, $1.3 billion, is only 39% funded to now. According to the UN Secretary General, some 18 million people, almost half the population, need humanitarian assistance to survive. One in three Afghans don't know where their next meal is coming from, and more than half of all children under five are expected to become acutely malnourished in the next year. A crisis further accentuated by the risk of financial collapse. Last year, foreign aid accounted for more than 40 percent of the country's GDP, according to the World Bank. But that aid flow is slowing as countries and international institutions decide whether to recognize the Taliban. The U.S. has already moved to freeze Afghan government reserves, and the International Monetary Fund has blocked the country from accessing emergency reserves. Meanwhile, many Afghan banks are closed, and others are limiting withdrawals, prompting long lines at ATMs as residents desperately seek cash. Jobs are also scarce. The Taliban will also have to respond to a displacement crisis. According to the UN Refugee Agency, 400,000 Afghans have been internally displaced since the beginning of the year.